Hello everyone, it is Natalie with Crochet by Natalie Lucille and today let's learn the grill stitch. And I did start the video out and I'm doing it again. I had a black yarn because it's nice to have the two contrasting colors, but it was so dark you couldn't really see it. So I switched it out. We're going to do a second video. And I've got white and a light gray uh, worsted weight yarn, but it's actually pretty thin. And so with that, I'm using a D hook. So we're going to go ahead and just get started. And this technique is used with two colors that I'm doing in this one. You could, I guess, use one, but it's kind of nice um, to use the two. So you start out with a slip knot, just like that. And you're going to chain in multiples of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two. We'll just, I wouldn't mind it being a little longer. Let's go a little bit longer. One, two, one, two, one, and two. That's good enough for now. So when you're working your foundation row, I like to work in the back ridges of the chain. So you're going to come to your second ridge here. So it's the second chain from the hook and you're just going to work a single crochet. And you do that by inserting your hook in the yarn, yarn over, draw through. So you have two loops on your hook, yarn over, and through those two. Then you're going to come to your next chain and you're going to work a double crochet and that is yarn over, insert into the ridge or the chain, yarn over, pull back through so you have three loops on your hook, yarn over through two, and yarn over and through two. Coming to the next ridge or chain, single crochet. So you're basically going back and forth. So it's a single crochet, a double crochet, a single crochet, a double crochet. Coming to the next, work a double. Doo -doo -doo. The foundation road can be a little persnickety. And I'm taking a chance here. I've got my dogs in here with me, and so they can be a little yippy. So I'm hoping they stay quiet. But you never can tell. Oops, that did not go right. So into that ridge here. Go. Still working our way down here. So the next one is a single crochet. That didn't go in right. Yeah, the foundation row is probably my least favorite row to work on when I'm working a project, but it has to be done. So you just work through it and Double crochet. And just keep working down the row and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I am in my last stitch here. And I'm halfway done with a double crochet, but I want to switch my color. So I still have the two loops on the hook. And I'm just going to grab my white Put it on the hook like this and pull it through just like that. So it's almost like it's invisible. 
chain one and turn. So this last stitch that I worked from the previous row in gray was a double crochet. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of lay it on top as I work my stitches. So in this first stitch above my double crochet that I just worked, I'm going to work a single crochet. So just kind of work your single crochet using the white, but we're just almost hiding our previous color as we work across the row. And this is a single crochet. It's kind of I probably didn't pick the best yarn because it really wants to split on me. And then the next stitch is a single crochet here. So you want to work a double crochet in the top. Just kind of keep that yarn hidden, if you will. The next stitch was a double crochet from the previous row, so you're going to work a single crochet. You go right into the top, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and just like that. Next stitch was a single crochet, so you're going to work a double crochet, just like that. Still keeping that yarn. See how it just stays hidden? Next stitch from the previous row was a double crochet, so you work a single crochet right into the top. Then a double. Keeping it there, single, double, single, you're just working all the way across, double. So it should start looking similar to this. And a single, and we're getting close to the end. Double. Ah. Looks like it. Sometimes let me just do that again. This yarn is splitting. Okay. So that was a double. And then a single. Double, and when you end your row, you should end with a double over the very first single crochet. So, hopefully, once we end, it will work out just like that. Double. Single, and we're almost to the end. And we'll have a double crochet, and we're going to switch our colors. So you're going to come into the single crochet stitch from below. Maybe. 
Yarn over, pull up. Yarn over through two. And then basically drop your white and pick up your gray and through like that. Chain one and turn. And we're going to kind of pick up that yarn so it stays hidden. And then you're going to continue working that in each row. So we just finished with a double crochet. So in the top of this, we're going to work a single crochet. So just insert, yarn over, and then pull through. Your next stitch here is a single crochet, so you'll work a double. Come to the next one, work a single, and you're just going to continue this pattern throughout your whole project. And you just want to keep the color like this one. You just lay it on top and it stays hidden. And they can get um, tangled, so you want to make sure that while you're working the project, you just kind of keep babying it a little bit and straightening it out and so but it's nice when you have um, your project and you've been able to use multiple colors and it just has a nice little look to it so you can kind of see what it's looking like right now and so I'm just going to continue and my yarn. There we go. Still keep that just laying on top. Kind of stay hidden. And you're just going to keep working the row across, alternating between single crochet and double crochet, depending on what you used in the previous row like this was a double crochet here so I just come right into the top here and work my single crochet so it's looking like this And I'm coming towards the end, and of course we will switch colors here in just a second. So there's the double that is over the single. Two more stitches. Single. And then our last stitch, and of course we will change it back to the white. So you want to yarn over, insert into the top here, yarn over, pull up, yarn over through two, maybe it'll go through, and then switch colors. So you'll just drop your first color, your gray, and then yarn over, pull through just like that. And this will be a really nice uh, project to have an edging on it so you can hide the colors on the end. So whenever you're done you can do a just a basic single crochet around if you wanted to. So you've picked up your white. You're going to turn and remember you're just going to hide your first color across the tops here. So your first stitch that you have, because you finished with a double crochet, you start with a single. So let's go into the top here, right behind here, and you're just going to work a single crochet. Just like that. And then your double crochet will go right in here, and your uh, second color is just resting and hiding, so to speak. And so you can't see the colors that um, was is hiding in your project. 
because it does match. <laughs> it's just one nice way to be able to uh, change colors and work a row and go back and forth. So I'm just going to continue this and I'm just going to, I think, crochet for a bit because you get the idea of how to change the colors and how to hide the color. And this makes a great um, blanket scarf just because of the the pattern stitch and the alternating colors and the fact that it's a close knit stitch it's great for a baby blanket because you don't have to worry about little toes and fingers getting um, caught in here so I think I'm just gonna continue crocheting and I'm just gonna set some music enjoy crochet along with me and I hope that in this stitch you have learned something new and you can just continue crocheting along and that way um, by just having a visual cue you can kind of still just follow along and crocheting believe it or not is so relaxing and it's nice sometimes it's just nice to watch um, someone just doing a repetitive motion, repetitive stitch, so to speak. So I think with this, I'm just going to continue crocheting so you get the, the hang of it. And I'm just going to set it to music and enjoy.